Hello, welcome to my easy statistics. In this session, we will be discussing about partial least square regression. Partial least square regression is a predictive technique. Partial least square regression combines the features of principal component analysis and multiple regression. The partial least square regression first extracts a set of latent factors that explains the covariance between independent variable and dependent variable. Then a regression step predicts values of dependent variable using the decomposition of independent variables. Partial least square regression is mostly used when the independent variables are highly correlated or when the number of independent variables exceeds the number of cases. In this session, I will be concentrating on executing this partial least square regression using SPSS. For this purpose, I have taken one example. In this example, preference of food is being determined by three independent variables. They are nutrition, taste and quality. Preference is a dependent variable. Nutrition, taste and quality of food are independent variables. Now I want to do partial least square regression to predict the impact of the three independent variables on the dependent variable of preference. For doing partial least square regression, I take the analysis menu. In this regression, in regression, we go for partial least square. Yeah, in this window, we take the preference as dependent variable and the remaining three variables, nutrition, taste, quality, which are independent are shifted to independent variable box. Now, as I already said, when we do partial least square regression, the system first develops latent factors. And each factor is going to determine what is the relationship between the dependent variables and independent variables. So after doing this preference into dependent and the other three into independent, click OK. Now we have the output window. Now the partial least square regression is executed. In this, we will discuss table wise. The first table is proportion of variance explained. Now, as already said, the system will generate different number of latent factors. Here in this case, we have three factors. We got first, second and third. And in this factor one, how much variance is explained by X and how much variance is explained by Y is given here. If you read this one, the first factor says the X variance is 0 0.843. It is 84.3% of the variance is explained by independent variable. And 0 0.851, that is 85.1% of variance is explained by dependent variable.
if you notice the other two factors <clears throat> factor 2 and factor 3 the variance explained is very less so we consider that factor 1 the model which is generated by factor 1 ha is having more variance explained by x value uh, independent and dependent variables if you see this r square adjusted r square they are also having 0 0.851 but factor 2 is having less variance explained by both x variance and y variance. The same is the case with latent factor 3. Okay, let us see the next table which is parameters. This parameter table shows the estimated regression coefficients of each independent variable for predicting the dependent variable. The dependent variable in our case is preference and independent or nutrition taste quality. And this preference table explains the estimated regression coefficient. See the quality is having highest value of impact on preference followed by nutrition and next by taste. So parameter esti estimation shows how much estimation is having impact of independent variables on dependent variable. <clears throat> the third table is variable importance in the projection. Variable importance in the projection is called as VIP where we have for each factor that is factor 1, factor 2 and factor 3 what is the importance of the variable? If you see factor 1, quality is having highest importance. Second important is taste. The first one, next followed by nutrition values. So quality is having the highest impact <clears throat> on factor 1. Factor 2 also quality is having. In factor 3 also we have the quality. So VIP explains what is the importance of a particular factor variable in a given factor. And the next table is weights. The weight shows the relationship between the independent variable and dependent variables. If we observe latent factor 1 all are having positive relationship that is nutrition to preference, taste to preference and quality to preference all are having positive relationship but if you see latent factor 2 nutrition and taste is not having a positive association with preference and if you see latent factor 3 Taste is not having a positive relationship with preference. That maybe taste is increasing, uh, preference is being reduced. It is having negative impact. So as we already discussed how much variance has been explained by the variable, factor 1 is considered. So we will take this into consideration that nutrition, taste and quality all are having positive association most association, more association is with quality followed by taste and nutrition. The same thing we can see here in importance also. First, quality is having impact on preference. In association also, we will be seeing coefficient of estimation also. Quality is having more estimation, coefficient of estimation of 0.548. So this is partial least square regression which we can understand the same concept in a clear way using structure equation modeling. You can see the same type of explanation in my structure equation modeling using AMOS part 1. Thank you.